Hello, this is Panda, and welcome to part 31 of my Minecraft Dark series. I am back again, and as always, I am being joined by someone, and this time, I'm actually going to be joined by Callius. So, sadly, no Trident today, sadly, no Mega Reviews, but hopefully, um, they will be joining me in future videos. And what is Callius doing? Also, I, I realise I've been, apparently I've been pronouncing his name wrong last video, so, um, Callius? Callius. That's it. He's looking down. Okay, he's nodding. Alright, and I have no idea what he's doing with my jukebox. Is there a music in there? No, okay, that's a bit weird. Uh, so in this video we're actually going to be building the enchantment room. Um, I don't know if I mentioned I was planning on building one before. Um, but basically I wanted to add a few more rooms, like a brewing room and an enchantment room. And that's what we're basically going to be doing in this video. So, um, but very quickly I do want to show you. Oh, by the way, we're not actually going into the shout out area today just because there's literally no one to give a shout out to. I kind of want it to be more of a special thing, so that's kind of why I'm not really going to give anyone a shout out. Uh, but quickly, I do want to like show you off my dog house. This is what we were building in the last two videos, I believe. And uh, Trident has actually finished naming his dogs. Um, so I'm just going to kind of show you um, some of the dogs' names. So here we've got Jack Hugh. I I I'm probably not going to be able to pronounce these names, to be honest. He chose the most world, most complicated names. Uh, so what we've got in this room? Okay, these rooms apparently still have. Okay, so you still haven't named these dogs, uh, unfortunately, or decorated their rooms. Uh, what about this room? Uh, Greg and uh, can't pronounce that other one, um, so that's pretty cool. And also this one, a Barkley and Wolfette room. Yeah, so um, he's obviously kind of named the dogs in between videos, which is kind of cool. So it gives them a little bit more character than just in, instead of just having them as nameless dogs. Oh, and I might as well, considering we're here, I might as well take one of the dogs out for a walk. I was going to take them both out uh, for this video, but I felt like it would be a bit too nuts having at least one dog out, so. Um, yeah, I can't actually remember which one was which. I think that one was Teddy, and that one was, uh, what's my name of them? I named them Teddy and, um, what's the name? Teddy and Jimmy. Yeah, I think that one, I can't remember which one was which. So anyway, I'm going to take, I can't remember which one I said was in the video. So I'm going to take this one, the one with the red collar, and in the next video I'll be doing the, the one with the blue collar. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, so just very quickly, let's go back to the enchantment room. Um, in this um, which is, it was, I think I put it in the basement, I, I think I decided to, I was, um, figuring out, like, um, different, uh, like, I was thinking about, like, different areas in the house I could build it, like, I was originally planning on doing it over here, uh, but your problem is, is that, uh, Skylanders tree is here, and I haven't, like, it, it's kind of been here ever since he built it, and I kind of didn't want to get rid of it, it just kind of reminds me of, um, I don't know, it just kind of reminds me when, when he was in the world, and he does plan on joining back, and at some point, he did ask me, um, but yeah, this is before I leave this tree here for now, so, um, it's, so instead I decided just to put it in the basement, which kind of sucks, because the reason why my, um, house is so weird looking is just so I can have room to extend and everything, but, um, I couldn't actually think of a place to actually extend, um, extend the house really, other than the basement, so, um, this is the other area of, um, I can't actually remember the last time I shown this, uh, it's basically where my nether portal is, it's also got my water, uh, my water room, which is basically just fit into the water source, as well as the lava room, which is this room, which I haven't actually built yet because I'm not actually quite sure if you can do an infinite, uh, infinite lava source. Um, so yeah, so this is going to be kind of the two new rooms I was planning on adding. This one's going to be my enchantment room, and this one's going to be my brewing room. Um, but in this video, we're just going to stick with building the enchantment room, which is, I might as well leave both the doors open. Um, so yeah, let's go start building it. So I think what I'm going to do is see how big I can actually extend this room. Um, well, it's not going to be too big. It's going to be like, kind of like, I, I suppose, what you expect. Oh yeah, and I think, can we, no, okay, I think we can, yeah. I, I don't think this is going to interfere with my lava room at any point. I don't, not my lava room, my nether room. So I think we can um, extend like this, and I think it should be fine. Um, so yeah, so it's not going to be particularly too big. It's going to be kind of decent size for an enchantment room. And also, one of the problems was is that I don't actually have that many bookshelves in my world. It was just requested I do build a, um, an enchantment room by Trident just because he's been he, he's been basically doing so much exploring. And I felt like it, it makes sense for us to have an enchantment um, an enchantment room. So yeah, that's kind of why I planned on building one just because he requested one. And I was going to build one anyway. Um, but the only problem is is I actually don't have that many bookshelves in my world. So um, for the meantime, I'm just going to use oak planks, kind of where the bookshelves are supposed to be. But at some point, I can. Maybe in between videos I can go ahead and like place them where they're supposed to be. Um, but um, one of the things I will be doing in this video is at least place the enchantment or table, which I've just remembered I've got the ingredients for. So um, yeah, at some point I will be doing that. 
Um, so very quickly just go get rid of all this stone. As hopefully it should be a lot quicker just because I am actually being joined by someone. Um, so yeah, ho hopefully this should be um, getting done a lot quicker. We just get rid of this random piece of the wood. Just basically, if, if you didn't know what the design looked like before, it was kind of more like a little bit weird. It wasn't like a it wasn't like a straight wall like it is now. So that's kind of why there's like random pieces of wood everywhere. Um, so yeah, and enough of that, after we do destroy the wall, we can actually start working on the flooring. Actually, I think I'm going to work out the dimensions first, just because I don't want to get the dimensions wrong. I always do like a rough plan before I actually build uh, my buildings. So yeah, I'm just going to make sure um, once we've got rid of this, I can do kind of like a, um, a rough plan on how big I'm going to have it. So like I said, not too big, but it's going to be kind of relatively decent size. And I'm also going to have like a chest as well. We have like one section for the enchantment table, and I'm gonna have the other section for the chest and kind of like, um, you know, where we put like an enchantment book and things. I have already got an enchantment book. I can't remember which one I got, um, but I do know somewhere. I think it was like might be a mob spawner or something. Um, I did eventually get an enchantment book, and you can also enchant books, which are pretty cool. Actually, I think we might as well have an. I think it's we might as well have an anvil in here just because. Um, another way of enchanting is if you put like an anvil and like if you. Um, for example, put my sword in there as well as an enchantment book. You can actually use an anvil um, to enchant stuff, I think would be pretty cool. So I might move some of my anvils down here. I actually have two anvils in the crafting room, so that's uh, uh, something to keep in mind. So let's just get rid of this. And I can't remember how tall I wanted it as well. Oh, I just fell down here. Um, okay, let's just get back up. Uh, what is he doing? Okay, yeah. Uh, okay. I think he's just getting rid of some of the flora now. Uh, so yeah, this, this is big enough. I think this is fine. But, um, there. I don't think it needs to be particularly too big than this. And I might as well give him some of the wool as well, just because I ended up getting three stacks and uh, I don't think it's gonna I don't think this is gonna take three stacks to fill up, but I don't think he has any pieces of purple wool in, so might as well might as well give him the pieces of wool. And uh should we cover dip this wall? Um I can't remember the, what the wall was supposed to look like now that I think about it. I don't know, we can may, maybe improvise a little bit on what things are supposed to look like. So let's get rid of this um, red wall over here, replace it with a nice little purple wall. Um, because like, the reason why I decided purple as well is just because it kind of, you know, kind because of, it was an enchantment table, it kind of made sense if like, it kind of looked a bit relatively magical and the most magical block I could think of was, was well, that I can think of that we can get is purple wall. So that's kind of... Um, why I ended up doing purple wall, uh, just because it does kind of look relatively magical. And like I said, don't have any bookshelves, but we're going to use oak planks just for the meantime as well, just because um, to get bookshelves, you kind of need to kill cows and to get leather and everything. But because uh, cows are like, I, I, I swear, like in between videos, I've been trying to see how many cows I can actually find, but for some reason, they've all literally probably found out I needed leather and uh, yeah, they all kind of just disappeared, which is a bit strange, but. Um, it just makes getting bookshelves relatively hard, so at some point when we do get the bookshelves, I will be ad re adding them in this room, but at least I do have the enchantment table, so that's kind of the main thing why I'm actually going to be able to build it, just because we can have the enchantment table, which is pretty cool. Uh, so let's get rid of these few pieces of stone over here, and this is actually looking pretty good now, so this is kind of useful having someone actually join me, because it does make it a little bit, uh, it does make it a little bit faster, which is pretty cool, and I don't even know why I did end up bringing my dog, it just seems to be here just standing. I always felt like it made use, if like, considering I did tame it, it just made use if I actually took it out to places, but they don't actually kind of do anything, so it does seem a little bit strange to actually have a dog um, joining me, but, uh, you know, I love it, and if he does anything funny, then I, I suppose that's kind of, I don't know, it's just that I, 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 just, I just, I never thought they would be this useless. No offence, dogs, Teddy, Jimmy, whatever I decided to name this one. Um, so yeah, so let's um, cover up these last pieces of purple wall. I think he's actually been doing most of the flooring, so yeah, it's just, yeah, it gives us a stack to spare, which is quite good. So, uh, should we have this wall with, um, I think if I just do, hang on, so if I just do oak planks here, and just like, obviously, once we've got the bookshelves, we can obviously go ahead and replace it. And I kind of feel like this purple wall over, this row of purple wall is a bit of a waste, considering I'm just going to cover up with planks anyway. Um, but yeah, so like I said, anywhere, any areas that there are planks is um, at some point going to get replaced by bookshelves. Um, <laughs> let's not do that. Let's, oh yeah, I don't think he actually has any planks. Let's give him, let's throw him a stack of planks. Oh no, does he have planks? Okay, it does seem like he has planks. I just gave him another stack just in case. But um, yeah, we can obviously, like I said, between videos we can... Uh, to cover it, we can refill this with bookshelves, like I said. 
Um, I think the wall's gonna have to be another layer back as well, just because, which is just because I think this is gonna get a bit too small otherwise. And I haven't yet decided what I'm gonna do for the brewery room as well, just because that's gonna be kind of the room across this, like I mentioned a, a, a little bit of a while ago. And if you guys got, oh, am I getting hit by something? Oh no, 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 come on, sit down. Okay, I think Callus just acted, Callus, um, has accidentally hit me, so uh, yeah, let's, um, let's tell him to talk to sit down, otherwise he will be going after him, um, just tell him to sit there. And hopefully he'll leave Callus, um, alone at some point, um, if I just let, let him to sit there. That was, um, a, a little bit scary, because I always, it, it's always a bit scary when you have, like, someone hitting you and your dog, your talk just goes after them. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna tell... I'm just going to tell him to sit down in the meantime. Um, okay, I don't think he has any purple walls, so we might as well just give him a few. We might as well give him 47 pieces, like, even though it's probably going to take, like, what is it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, even though it's going to only take 11 pieces, it's going to... Be, it, it's like, I only have, like, so much purple walls. No, it's kind of... No, I meant, like, the floor. I, I didn't mean... I didn't mean the, the, um, the walls. The walls are just going to be, like, um... The walls are just going to be, um, with the plants, like anything else. Uh, so let's actually tell my dog to... Okay, I'm going to tell my dog to, stay, um, to stand up. He doesn't look like he's interested in Callius anymore. Um, I don't... Okay, they're, they're making friends. <laughs> they're, make, they're making up. Okay, I, I think I'm just going to tell him to stand up again. I just I just needed him to move from that little area he was sitting in. Otherwise, yeah, otherwise, that would just be that little area underneath him that wouldn't get filled up with purple walls, so... Okay, luckily, but luckily they are both being civil and, and they're not attacking each other, which is um, quite good. Um, but he doesn't seem to be moving either, which is also quite annoying because I kind of need to fill that up with purple wall. Uh, can, he, can he just like follow me? If I just like move back into the hallway, maybe he's just... Okay, there we go, he's just going to follow me. Okay, it was just like quite annoying how he just decides to sit there and I like, actually move. Um, so very quickly, just cover these last pieces with purple wall. And um, there we go, that should be the flooring done. And also there's some iron over here. We might as well take this iron just because just because we can. It could always be um, useful for future builds. Um, the, the ceiling as well would be oak planks as well. Um, but it so it does look a bit strange how you've got like some areas that like you've got the purple wall on the floor, but then you've got like the rest of oak planks. Just at least remember that the oak planks will be bookshelves. Um, hopefully. Um, in a future video when I've actually got enough bookshelves, when I've found enough cows and my cow farm isn't efficient enough to actually um, be able to make books, to make the bookshelves, um, then it would obviously change. So it would look a bit strange at first, um, but hopefully with the enchantment table it would look somewhat like an enchantment room. Uh, so let's just get rid of this, um, this wall over here and just replace this with a plank, just like we're doing with everything else. Do we have enough planks? Okay, we do have enough planks. My worry was that we're going to run out of blocks. And also for the ceiling, I'm going to use the old-fashioned slabs trick. If you're not quite aware, like I try to mention this in all my videos, well not all my videos, but like all the, all the videos I can use this trick, I always use it just because one, it, well, it, saves, it saves materials, and two, it, it's kind of a, a good trick just to save, like just to tell you guys to save materials. But if you actually make some of the oak planks into slabs or just anything like cobblestone, it would actually save you, like for example, if it's the floor, or the ceiling, it would save you the exact same, like, it would, it would basically save you more wood, to be honest, because, for example, if you use three slabs, I think it is, it makes you six oak slabs, I don't know why I have three here, um, but obviously if you have six, you can make, like, twice the amount, um, well, you can fill in twice the amount if it's the ceiling or the floor, doesn't work well with, um, walls, just because, you know, it's it kind of, you can't really do slabs on the sides or anything, sadly, or at least not yet, or it'd just be a bit weird if it was possible, um, so yeah, so sadly it won't work on the floors, um, or on the ceiling, not ceiling. It won't work on the walls, but yeah, it does work. It's a quite, it's quite a cool trick to do for the ceiling or the floor. Um, in this case, the ceiling. So let's just fill in all this. And, uh, I'm gonna do like a little bit of an area over here. Um, where I basically, cause the thing about books, the thing about enchantment tables, um, the reason why people do build them with surrounding, surrounding bookshelves, like, it's cause they do work without the bookshelves, but, um, and I can imagine most of you already know this, so I don't know why I'm even mentioning it again. Um, but even though they do work without the bookshelves, it is quite kind of useful if they do have bookshelves, because um, uh, just because it gives you like high level enchantment. So, but they do have to be quite close to um, quite close to the enchantment um, the enchantment table. So I'm gonna put like I'm gonna put this here just to remind myself where the bookshelves are gonna gonna go, because it is gonna have to be quite close. 
And here we can put the enchantment table. Um, is it going to be like... Is that going to be a bit too close and a bit too... Yeah, okay, let's maybe just do it like this. And then I can just fill in this little bit over here. And I've got a feeling I've made this a little bit too big. Um, just because um, my plan was, was to have like the chest to go here. And yeah, I was going to have like the chest... Hang on, I was gonna, I've got some glowstone around the chest. So I was going to have the glowstone here and the chest to go here. So I think, it's, I think it's a little bit too big. So I do feel like I've wasted a couple of materials here. Um, but luckily we should have some there, actually saying that. I, I feel like we have run out of a bit of material, so I think I'm just gonna have to quickly... I think I'm gonna have to quickly just tear down some of these planks, just so we can actually have some planks to fill in the ceiling. Um, so it does feel a little bit of a waste, um, but luckily we did give ourselves so much purple walls that we can't really waste as much. Until I've built something out of purple wall and I'll run out, and then I feel like I've wasted it. But for now I have like a stack to... almost a stack excuse me, almost a stack to spare, so I feel quite, I, I feel quite good to be honest. Um, it's just the planks that I kind of felt, I, I just felt like I kind of wasted the planks, and I think um, Kalus is, uh, is just going to get more, where is he going? Well, I, I'm not quite sure where he's going. I, I thought he was going to go to get more planks, but I was, it just seems like he just wanted to go in the hallway. Um, so yeah, so this is going to be, um, this is where I'm going to do the chest, so if I can very quickly do a crafting table, I know I complained about wasting materials, like, I know, I know I just waste, I just, know, uh, excuse me, I know I just mentioned that I was wasting uh, materials or uh, wood to be uh, more precise, um, to actually, um, you know, I, I know I just said I was wasting them, but, um, and I was going to try not to waste them, um, but yeah, and I just ended up making a craft table instead, so that's where the chest was going to go for the enchantment book. And saying that, when I actually make the enchantment table, I do want to find the enchantment book I have, just so I can put it in there. Um, just to be a bit more organised. And, uh, yeah, I've just put a... Okay, how many? We've got two slabs. We've got two slabs, and then I've wasted all my wood. Um, so very quickly, I think we are going to have to go out to get more wood. I think that's what Kalios has ended up doing. Actually, while he actually goes off and goes to get more wood, I'm actually going to show you um, me cr actually crafting the enchantment table. So... I do notice Trident has actually enchanted stuff before, like he has an enchantment sword. I'm not actually quite sure if he actually got it from a mob or anything, but he actually does have an enchantment sword. So I don't know if he actually has his own enchantment table, or if it's just like kind of, um, or if it's just, um, you know, just something he, he accidentally gained in the world. Um, but I do actually have a feeling this won't be the first enchantment table in my world. So um, to just put, quickly put everything back, I like to be a bit more organised with my chest. I'm a little bit OCD when it comes to my chest. Um, what else? How do you make enchantment tables again? I can't actually remember. So I think it's one book. Um, then it's my... I think it needs like two diamonds. So if you just go to my secret stash of diamonds up, up um, on, on top of my bedroom. Um, so just get quickly, just grab two pieces. And I think it's three pieces of obsidian and then I should be done. I don't think... Do you need walls? I don't think you need walls. Let's quickly go find my obsidian. I think it's four pieces of obsidian. And then we should hopefully be able to make myself the enchantment table. So where is it? And that's the wall chest. There we go, I've got some of the obsidian. Uh, so very quickly just give ourselves four pieces. And the reason why I'm just placing them like that is just to remind myself how many how, how many um, pieces of obsidian I'm actually going to need. Because that's kind, of, that's kind of the layout you do in the crafting table. And there we go, we actually don't need any wall. I don't know why I thought we needed wall. I think it was just the fact that um, it had that little bit of red carpet on top of it, I thought. Uh, but yeah, it looks like we don't need any wool, and we should be able to craft ourselves an enchantment table like that. And there we go, we've got the first, at least my first craft, um, enchantment table in, in my world. I'm not actually quite sure if this is the first one, just like I mentioned about Trident, he does have enchanted stuff. Uh, but at least for me, this is my first enchantment table to go in my house, which is quite cool. Uh, so very quickly, let's go all the way back down to the basement. Um, I'm going to place it right over here. And like I said, once there should be books here, it should hopefully work, and it should be a little bit more efficient. Actually, it would also be quite good if we do lapis as well, um, just because to enchant stuff you need lapis. And like I said with the anvils, I'm not quite sure where the anvils could go. I think if I put like the anvil over there, it just makes more sense if the anvils are with the... I, th I think we'll leave one anvil in my, um, in, what's the room called? Crafting room. And I think we're going to leave one anvil downstairs. Or should I make a whole new one? I don't think I have enough wood to make a new one. And this is kind of like symmetrical, so it feels weird taking one of the anvils apart. Um, so what I'm going to do is, if I do actually have enough, I don't know if I actually have enough iron. Okay, maybe um, in between the videos when I actually do make the, um, what was it? When, maybe in between the videos when I actually place all the bookshelves, maybe then I can 
Um, I can place the anvil. So very quickly, I'm just going to go smelt some of my iron just because I can. I don't have any fuel. Oh no, I have one piece of coal. And uh, can I leave the fuel if you want in? Okay, oh no, it's giving me more wood. Okay, this is quite good. And then after this, hopefully, it should be my enchantment room done, which will be quite exciting. So there we go, he got, he got 37 pieces. I think this should be more enough, especially when I showed you about the slab. Uh, method that gives you like kind of like literally gives you double the amount to fill in like ceiling or floor and it will make like I think if you, I think most of you already know what I mean but it will make sense when I actually use it and I know and I like I mentioned this in a few of my other videos as well um well no it's just kind of interfering with my other room upstairs I think this is inferior with the uh, minecart room so I just have to make sure I don't dig far up um but yeah so I know I mentioned this before when I do, when I do the slabs, but it's like a really good method. I really appreciate, it. and I don't think I've seen that many YouTubers mention it more about the whole slab method. And I don't know if that's because I don't watch that many Minecraft YouTubers anymore, or if that's because not that many people. Um, most people, like to be fair, I know it's not like I know planks ain't the most valuable thing in the world, but it just saves materials. To be honest, like it, it, I mean, I suppose it just saves time. If I'm totally honest, like I know I don't think most people use it just because it's not like. Um, um, it's, like, it's not that most of the valuable block, it's like very common block. But uh, yeah, just it's just in my opinion, it's, it's a good tip. And I, I think I might not be even making sense anymore. So there we go. Um, filling these last two rows up here, and this should be the enchantment room, at least in this video, done. Like I said, I have to fill in these walls and make them into bookshelves, and I also want to make a new anvil to place down here because I don't want to take the one from the crafting room, otherwise that will kind of ruin like, the, um, the symmetrical anvils in my crafting room. And uh, what's Callius one into? Okay, he just he's just kind of agreeing with me. Um, yeah, so we're very quickly go grab the lapis um, that I have actually decided to keep in my um, what was basically the chest I kept all my diamonds. And I think Callius what what he wants me to do. I could be wrong, but I think he does want me to show um, some of the things he's actually been building up my um, of my world in between videos. Um, because, because basically um, in between videos I've been leaving my Xbox on and Callius is Callius. Uh, excuse me, has actually been um, joined my world and he's actually been building like, I, I don't know if you guys have actually seen a glimpse of it, but he has actually been building a pretty cool castle, which um, I'm sure he would want me to show off at some point. So um, after we place all the artists in the chest, I am then going to show the castle and then I can call it, in, um, I can then call it a video. Uh, so very quickly, I just want to, yeah, very just close the trapdoor. Uh, so very quickly, just go in this room over here and go all the way back down to my basement. And then we can just quickly put my lapis, and then we can go quickly um, show off the castle that Kalios has been building. There's quite a few other things that's been kind of been happening in between videos that other people have been building, but I think Kalios having like a massive castle like right near my, basically right near my house, um, is um, yeah. I feel like I should actually point that out at some point, but um, some other things that's been happening is Mega Review basically been rebuilding his house. Um, there's just been a few differences in the world, to be honest, so uh, very quickly, I just want to show you the castle that is literally right over there, and I feel like if I don't show that off now, I feel like you guys would notice it in future videos, it's just been right near to my house, so um, I don't know the best way to get to it, like right now it's just literally me going past um, past Kalios' greenhouse, and very quickly I'm just going to um, go all the way over to here, and uh, show off his castle, so I haven't actually bit, oh, he got here a lot quicker, how did he get here a lot quicker? Did he even like stuck in his way up here? I'm not actually quite sure to be honest. Um, so yeah, so I haven't actually been seeing uh, I haven't actually been seeing this in between videos. Um, to be honest, this is kind of like my first reaction. I've seen bits of it um, when he was building it, but I haven't actually seen it um, fully done. Oh, okay, just gonna do, do, doing a few more finishing touches, but um, yeah, it's pretty nice. This is actually this is actually pretty impressive. Like I, I didn't think um, I don't know just. It, 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 like castles, obviously, is one of those things everyone builds. But to have this in the survival world, and this, this took so many uh, blocks to be honest. And I know, I know he's stolen most of these from me or um, Trident to be honest. Um, but yeah, this is actually um, it's actually pretty cool. And also, I know he's not even been using stairs to be honest. He's a bit new to, the, I mean, he's a bit new to the game in like um, uh, in, in terms of he hasn't actually played it in a while, so he hasn't been using stairs, um, which is a bit. Bit noobish, but um, I let it slide and all this this goes up and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I don't know if there's any specific rooms. Oh, and they put it all down there. I don't know if there's any specific rooms that I can actually show off. They kind of they kind of look a bit um at the moment they kind of look a bit blank to be honest. But um yeah, it's pretty cool. And if he does end up adding anything to the castle, I might end up showing it in a future video. So this is actually it's 
actually pretty cool how someone um, does decide to build something compressive in my world, and uh, there's probably going to be a few more of these things knowing Kalios, Kalios, wherever. However you pronounce his name, I know he's probably said, I know probably at least a dispronounced, I don't think it's pronounced as well, right? but I don't, I know at some point in this video I probably pronounced his name wrong, so, yeah, I'm hoping I didn't butcher his username too much, so, uh, yeah, this is actually a pretty cool castle, I'm going to end the video here, so thank you guys very much for watching this video, I do appreciate everything good you watching, I hope you guys like the enchantment table, or the enchantment, not the enchantment table, but the enchantment room I built in this video, um, unfortunately Trident and Mega Reviews wasn't able to join me, but hopefully they'll join me in future videos, and thank you, Kalios, or Kalios, or, 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 for um, joining me in this video, and hopefully I didn't put your name too much. Uh, so this is it for this video. Thank you very much for joining me, and I'll hopefully see you all, all in my next video. Thank you very much, and goodbye.